Hi everyone, this is Toxinos, Philippines teaching how to trade and invest in the Philippine stock market independently. This is our top gainer and top loser analysis for November 10, 2017. Our top gainer for the is IDC while our top loser is BKR. IDC is up by 25.90%. It actually reached a high of 19. Uh, for the top loser, we have BKR down 9.09%. IDC is starting to become expensive. Uh, income is actually good at 19.4 million, which is higher than the 9 million recorded for the same period last year, first half of 2017. Our revenues were almost double as well. Uh, EPS is 0.09, which will yield an estimated EPS of 0.18. Now, with a price of how much? 16.82. Stock is really expensive at 93 times PE, making it overvalued. Book value is only at 1.64, so this is clearly trading at around 10 times price to book value, making it overvalued. Now let's check the chart of IDC. Okay, there you go. So, uh, staircase volume, uh, staircase price and volume pattern. Moving averages are bullishly aligned. We are 15 EMA may possibly act as support pack. This bullish RSI is also bullish. This is already extremely parabolic. Now let's just switch to the 15 minute chart so you can at least see the intraday support. Look at that one. It's 15 point. No, let's erase that. Let's move it. It will be around this area. Around 16, that will be your support. And then we still have 16.47. Resistance is at 17.53. Oh no, or rather around 17.44. Then of course you have 18.33. Okay. So that's IDC. Let's now go to BKR. BKR is doing better than last year, 4 million in income. However, EPS is too, is still too small to generate a meaningful PE. Book value is at 0.68, so with a price of 2. It's still overvalued price to book value wise. Now let's check the chart of BKR. There you go. It bounced a little bit, but it's back down again. The 50 EMA is still acting as resistance. Price is now below the 50 SMA. It may try to challenge a low or a new lower low because a new lower high is in place. Mm. Volume is not that great, but then again, the price action speaks for itself. MACD is bearish, RSI is also bearish, but it's not yet in oversold territory, so it can still go down further. Let's uh, clear some lines. Uh, I would put support at around 1.90, while resistance would be at around 2.28 or 2.26, 2.27. All right. So I guess that's it. That was our top leader and top loser analysis for November 10, 2017. This is Toxinos Philippines teaching you how to trade and invest in the Philippine stock market independently.